I have a little laryngitis today. I did a show last night. Oh, it was awesome. <laughs> um, so, this is called Aunt Rita. She was a triple threat to society, Aunt Rita. She was black, female, and gay. It was the 60s, although she's been black, female, and gay since maybe before the 30s. Definitely maybe the 40s, but openly the 50s. Actually, I think she was mostly gay. I have three cousins. She drank, smoked weed, danced, sang, and laughed. She was a nurse, not for many of the years I've known her. But maybe society wasn't ready for her. Maybe she was just thuggish, not a thug. Her face was colored, a hard, her face colored a hard life. She had big boobs and they were heavy and hung low, arched her neck and shoulders. Her bra made them pointy. Easter Sunday, 75, 76, return trip from Williamson. I was, in my, I was on my period, a little back cramp. I must have been about 15 or 16. I got out the car with Cricket and them who lived up the street. So, you're in the living room as soon as you walk in. There was Aunt Rita, Big M, Aunt Rita's lover, Jackie, Donna, Jackie's daughter, Head, Jackie's husband, and Roly Poly Yvonne, who lived in the other duplex. We walked in, they were all looking stupid, smoking the air, tequila and bourbon on the coffee table. Ashtrays, ashes, burning cigarettes, half joints, and the record players blasting 45s. I follow Cricket to the kitchen. Aunt Rita calls us, Cricket, wrote you, come here, which we did. Come here, y'all do the sexy mama. When they got fucked up, they liked to see us dance. <laughs> yeah. I bend over. And my hands on my hips. And I swing my hips all the way from one side to the other. Bending my knees, making full hip circles. The more they laugh, the wider my swing. Wider, wider. And I'm stuck. I can't move. My face is set up. I'm stuck. No words, just face. Their faces and laughs became distorted. They were moving slow motion. Faces looked like images in funhouse mirrors. Their laughs were like cassette tapes on the slowest setting. I managed to push myself up with my hands. They were too fucked up. I spent two weeks in the hospital, three months on crutches. I had arthritis. I first came here at the end of 2000. My first 30 days, he had his first debilitating stroke. 2001, she would take my father to lessen um, my overwhelm. Five months, he could only stand a few seconds. She took care of a, of a couple of old people in her house and had an extra electric bed. Roach, bring them here. I got room. And give yourself a hug for me. Thank you for taking care of my brother. Remember, Aunt Rita loves you, sweetheart. She was in her 70s. Two years later, Roach, what should I do? Let Cricket, Aunt Rita. I think it'll be good for the both of you the next month. It metastasized. Shave your head, buy some big, beautiful earrings, take a picture and embrace yourself, Aunt Rita. You're so beautiful, do it, don't let it do you. A couple of months later, do me a favor, Rocha. Be there for her. She's not like you, she'll need you. Six months later, Mother's Day. It's Mama, she's different this time. You want me to come? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You tell me, I don't know, I don't know. No, yes, no, okay. I had no warning. Aunt Rita was contorted. She was chocolate skin on pretzeling skeleton. Her hands were frozen holding the rolled washcloths. Her skull was pronounced and caved. Her breathing was labored, fast and jerky. Her eyes were gray, gelling half open. She couldn't speak, groaning hurt. And she did when Cricket moved her the wrong way. First reaction, no, not like that. She's my mother, I know what I'm doing. Oh, I moved Aunt Rita. 3.49 a.m., it was huge. Two beds, one and a half baths, it was a dining room. She started bawling, crawled on top of Aunt Rita, the skeleton fighting for each breath. Her lips and cheeks caved in. She had no teeth. Her sunken eyes were half open, jelly eyeballs with the half moon of a pupil. No light. No, mama, 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 no, mama, mama, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't leave me, mama, don't leave me, mama, 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 mama. I got disgusted. She usurped the star's final bow in this stereotypical black B movie. Her mother's dying. I asked Cricket to walk out with me. Listen, you don't, have, you don't want her to have this as a last memory of you. You're making her feel guilty for dying. No, 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 she's not down. She's not dead. I want to shake the fuck out of her. <laughs> she's dying. Give her some dignity. Well, I went back in and I thanked Aunt Rita for everything, for helping me with Daddy, for being a part of my life. I told her something funny Daddy had done. She turned around, looked at me, mouth open, and smiled lets me know that the dying can't hear. 4.20 a.m., white shoes keep walking in and out. 5.13, lying beside her. Thank you, Mama. I love you, Mama. She gently rubs her head from the um, hair with sprouting, um, uh, sprouting hair from the chemo. And out of nowhere, I'm sitting on the, dead, on, on the bed for the living. Soon, I will be done with the troubles of the world. The 
troubles of the world with the troubles of the world soon I will be done with the troubles of the world I'm going home to be with God. When I finished my song, she took her last breath. I was really honored. Thank you.